Hey, what is up guys, Aaron here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best online image editor. So this, of course, is Fotor. You can go ahead and check it out at Fotor.com. Of course, I will have a link to it uh, down below that like button. So basically, Fotor is a pretty complex uh, and advanced image editor uh, that you can use online. So you know, after you're at photor.com, you're just going to go ahead and uh, you have a few cool things that you can uh, go ahead and click here. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, that you can uh, easily edit a photo. So, of course, got my photos up here. And let's say I just want a picture of my dog. So just double click that. And it says that my photo is on the way. You can see basically that uh, this website is basically it. In my opinion, it works offline because it's really fast. Uh, so that's a you know a point that you guys should take a note of. Fodor is a really fast uh, photo editor, even though it's online. So of course you have the uh, basic edits right here uh, that you start out with. Of course you can crop rotate uh, and add some effects. Let's you know I just want to change the contrast a little to make it a little bit. Uh, you know, sharper and, and crisper. Uh, and then I could go ahead and hit that apply button. Of course, I could go ahead and do some changes to the color, but I don't really want to mess around with it. Um, you know, if you guys know how to mess around with some things here, then you could do it. That's the thing, it's it's for both uh, advanced users and non-advanced users, so uh, that's one of the reasons that I really like Fotor. Uh, the next thing over here is you have this uh, little kind of effects uh, panel here. You go ahead and add some effects. So let's say I just want to add a Lomo effect, so I can go ahead and uh, I'll just make it the dust because that looks pretty cool. You guys can see the cool effect that it gave this picture. You know, it's a little bit too much for me, so I'm going to bring down the strength of it a little bit and hit that apply button. Of course, there are tons and tons of effects here. Uh, of course, I can't really go through them all. Uh, I can just hit that color splash button right there. But you guys can see that there are so many effects and so many things you can choose from. So let's go into the frames thing. This, um, you know, frames is is what people, in my opinion, use the least. So let's just add a Polaroid frame, uh, a nice outer thickness. Um, you know, it's going to look like I took it from one of those photos, uh, from those picture cameras. And then let's just make it that. Um, and, okay. So I'm just going to make that all the way to the end, and I'm going to hit that Apply button. As you can see, there are tons of more frames here and frame selections that you guys can choose from. Um, and of course, you guys can see this is really fast. It loaded up real quick. You know, I actually like that. Um, so uh, once that is the frame is there, I could go ahead and add some clip art, of course. Uh, it all it's all saved in here, so it's all centralized. So you have to uh, so you can hit that Apply button. And also, uh, oh, I'll tell you that afterwards what I really liked about this. Um, of course, you can add some, go ahead and add some clip arts. So uh, let's say you want to add a, let's say, a speech bubble right here. You go ahead and do that. Um, and go ahead and move it over here. Of course, you can go ahead and even change the color of this speech bubble. You guys can see it's pretty advanced, even though it's just an online editor. I'm going to go ahead and make that this nice little reddish pinkish color um, and then I could go ahead and you know size it up rotate it if I wanted to um, and I could go ahead and erase parts of it uh, with the eraser if I wanted to um, so let's go ahead and reset that um, and I will get to the adding of the text in just a second so I could go ahead and close that out then I have the text uh, option where I can go ahead and put in some text you guys can see, I don't really know how they do this, but they have local fonts. This is These are fonts that they actually took from my computer. I don't know how they did it, but it's really cool that uh, I can just, you know, go ahead and, and click on a local font that I have on my computer on the internet. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hobo STD. That doesn't really sound good, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and click the insert text button. And I can go ahead and uh, type some text. So I'm just going to write here. 
Um, what are you looking at? Then question mark here. Of course, I could go ahead and uh, change that size if I wanted to uh, make it a little bit smaller. Right here, let me just um, kind of enter it to go ahead and separate the paragraphs here so it'll look good. Uh, and then I could also go ahead and change the opacity to make it lighter and darker. And I'm just going to leave it black. And so let's go ahead and drag it around. Hold on just a second. You just got to close out of these options and then drag it right in there. Of course, we could easily rotate it and shrink it. And let's make that look a little nicer. Um, you guys can see that I'm having uh, a lot of fun here. Um, and then once the text is added, you can go ahead and then uh, go ahead and share. Well, you can share what you have done to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, everything here. You guys can see that it's easy to share to. Uh, and then, of course, you do have. You can go ahead and email it, but I, you can email them uh, if you want to. Uh, and of course, the thing that I like here is that you could just go ahead and click on the save button. And you know, with most photo editors, you go, you need to make an account and stuff, uh, and sign up and give them your email address and let them spam you all the time. But what I like about Fodor is that there's no accounts, no emails, no, no nothing. You could just, you know, start editing a photo, and uh, you could see it comes out in really good quality. Um, let me just go ahead and cancel this for a second and try and save it in high quality because uh, by default it was selected on medium. So what I was saying is Fodor just lets you, um, you know, it lets you go ahead and change, I mean, it, it lets you edit a photo without making any accounts. So that, in my opinion, is something really important um, and uh, pretty cool. So, of course, that is all for this video, you guys can see I could go ahead and add a uh, a nice nice you know GIF or whatever um, to this, which is pretty cool. Um, that's all for this video. Of course, I'll go ahead and leave a link to Fodor.com in the video description. Of course, an honorable mention would be for me to mention that they do have all these cool apps. So they have apps for you know for iOS. Um, and for Android and for all the other cool things in here so you guys can really take advantage of Fodor.com. Um, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the Fodor for iPhone app uh, in the App Store and uh, for other links that I find along the way here. That's all for this video and uh, as always, have a great day.